Kobe beef is famous worldwide for its renowned flavor, tenderness, and fatty, well marbled texture. It is also one of the most expensive cuts of beef in the world, and according to a report from the BBC, the cows are fed 40 pints of beer a day, which I imagine keeps them in a constant state of drunken stupor. But is a diet of beer only applicable to cows? Can it also make other animals more tasty? Well, according to one turkey farmer in New Hampshire, the answer is yes. According to a Weibo post that cites USA Today, Joe Moret of New Hampshire has been pairing poultry with beer for the last 20 years. He found the unique combination when one of his turkeys knocked over a can of beer and started to drink it. And according to Moret, a diet of lager has made his birds fatter, more flavorful, and juicier. One customer described his turkey as having a much darker gravy, that the bird overall has a slightly different taste that is very appealing and much tastier. However, the animal rights group PETA is not happy with the way the birds are being raised and pointed out that these questionable practices are not good for the animal's welfare. A claim that a poultry expert, as well as many Chinese Weibo users, found to be unlikely. Let's take a look at a few comments. Is it the legendary stewed chicken in beer? Haha, <laughs> I like it. I think it's common. As far as I know, the well-known Japanese Wagyu beef is also made with beer. This can make the animal's fat distribute more equally and make their meat more tender. I can't understand why all the animal rights activists are so ignorant. Beer does not do harm to the turkey. If anything, it probably gives them a good time. How do some people claim to know what the turkeys are thinking? How do they know if turkeys do not like beer? If they want, the farmer should offer turkeys water and beer and have the birds make the choice themselves. I think they should try to feed liquor to the birds. Maybe it will make them even better tasting? Farmers across China have been experimenting with different animal feeds for years. For example, while there are many chicken farms that raise American fast food chicken, which is characterized by its thick and coarse meat, most Chinese consumers prefer free-range chicken where the animals are fed a combination of grains and live proteins. Free-range chickens are also thought to cook more easily with Chinese-style cooking as the flesh is able to absorb flavors more easily as well. Now besides free-range chicken, other farmers have experimented with chicken that live off of nothing but sunflower seeds. Now these specialty chickens offer a very different, unique and fragrant flavor and are only available in select areas since they are not bred on a large scale. And because they are so few in numbers, they're often charged a premium that's 5, 10 or 20 times that of regular chicken.